it is not unusual that during a marriage that there is a division of labor. One person may know more about the financial landscape than the other. There's nothing wrong with that. That is pretty typical. But what the other person needs to be able to do is one, to have access to all the financial information, their lawyer have access to all that financial information, and then they need to be walked through and understand that landscape prior to coming into the negotiation. It sometimes involves the lawyer and a financial neutral or a lawyer and a financial advisor to help that person understand a balance sheet, income expenditure. What do they typically spend in a week? What does their portfolio look like? Is it liquid? Is it illiquid? Are there marital or non-marital assets? And some of the language that is used has to be explained. Thank you.